Okay, next is another brand new award that we are introducing tonight. Uh, we don't have a winner for the award because we are introducing it for the first time and we're gonna throw the challenge out there for coaches to strive for this award. Uh, it's, it's, I'd like to call to the, to the stage while we talk about this, uh, Coach Jack Simon. So this is incredible what you're about to hear. Um, Jack is really the epitome of what a, what a coach's heart is all about. Um, he retired from coaching a few years ago, but he stayed close to the sport. And we have him here on stage tonight because we want to honor and thank him for creating a fund that is going to fund this award. And it's, he started the fund already with a generous donation. But more importantly, he is actually put this award into his will so that uh, it's, he's actually willing his estate to funding this award, which is gonna be, it's gonna grow as every year uh, and, and it will be awarded each year when the criteria is met. It's very stringent criteria, but for a distant, for a coach of a distant swimmer of a, uh, at a club. And uh, he'll tell you more about it, but I just can't say enough for the generosity uh, the, of his gift to swimming, to coaches, and to ASCA to, to be able to present this award. So Coach Simon, please come and tell us, speak about it. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. And uh, publicly, Jennifer's just doing a tremendous job <laughs> About 25 years ago, Don Talbot and I had a long discussion, which is usually one way with Don talking, but it was, uh, it was an interesting time and we were reminiscing about the future of the sport in swimming. He obviously talking about Australia and me about the United States. And we both came to the conclusion that there was entirely too much sprinting going on in coaching. Um, the increase of, in events in the NC2A, et cetera, et cetera, just kept drawing more and more coaches down in terms of training. So over the next couple of years, I was in my 60s at the time, and you know that expiration date comes sometime, so I had to figure out um, what I was gonna do. I didn't have any, anyone else to leave money to, so um, I approached John Leonard with the idea, which was 23 years ago, and it's taken this long to really bring it into fruition. Uh, the award has already been funded with a small amount, um, and I'm not in any hurry for that expiration date, so it may take a while. <laughs> um, but my love has always been for this sport, regardless of its sprinting or distance, um, but my heart has always been in aerobic development, and this, this award, I hope, will incentivize club coaches, unfortunately not the collegiate coaches, uh, but it's strictly a club coach incentive. Um, and it's, Jennifer I'm sure will send out the criteria in the near future. It's a very difficult criteria, but we did it in the 1970s and we can do it in the 2000s. And let's bring teenage swimming back male teenage swimming back. The, the Ron, Ron's doing a hell of a job with, with the girls right now, and he's got a few guys too, but um, we, we need to get our young boys swimming again and swimming distance, sw swimming distance events. So it's my hope that in the future, long future, <laughs> that, that it will become a substantial award. So thank you very much and congratulations to all the honorees tonight. And uh, I'm very proud of all of you and I know, know all of you. So 
I'll see you in the future. Thank you very much.